Hey, what's up guys? Evan Aldo here. Wanted to give you an update. Bitcoin, um, Ethereum. Wanted to talk about the S&P 500 a little bit. You know, the current kind of state of the market right here. The Dixie as well. Sorry, I've been away a little bit. I told you guys in advance. I think <laughs> I think I told you guys um, I, I did a meditation retreat and I'm done with it now. Still in Mexico for a little bit longer. So yeah, I'm going to try to give you the updates on YouTube. Tried to go live before. Didn't work out because the internet just isn't the best here, unfortunately. So yeah. The thing I, I think I showed you guys this before a little bit. This is a similar pattern. I don't think too too many people are talking about this with the Nasdaq after the dot com bubble. Um, you know, comparing it here. So you had the first low, this is a wick down, came up a bit, all stayed red in the hike and ashy candles, another one, then some green right there. It's kind of that same pattern, similar pattern. So this would be the main case to come down farther. Um, I know a lot of people, I mean, it's hard to get a full gauge, but like a lot of the bulls are very, just very, very, very outspoken. So, I mean, they could be right. I mean, there's a lot of bears that were, you know, really outspoken, like over heat. Well, not really this, you know, far out. I mean, they were in this area, but I remember, you know, totally like January, a lot of bears were really outspoken. They got it right. I mean, it did come down. So they could be right. I mean, there's that possibility. Um, I know people are talking about 30K, all those things. The main thing that we need to focus on here, and it could be a little while, February could be kind of a boring sideways month here that we're kind of due for. And the main thing we want to look at is the 200 weekly moving average right here. This is at 20, where is it right now? 24 seven, which is a huge area. If we could break through this and hold it, I think there's a good shot that we've bottomed out. Um, we'll probably still see more of a sideways boring year, similar to 2015 and 2019, but then there's a good shot you could hit probably 30k at some point in this year some point in 2023 now if we can't break through this if we reject fiercely off of this which right now it's a little weird like i feel like you could see like more of a more of a boring sideways kind of month here but what's happening right now is and i don't know powell's i don't know what to make of <laughs> the speech today but it was kind of the same thing and it, it kind of gives me vibes of like he doesn't want too much heat on himself for like raising the rates. So he's just going to do the strategy where let's keep raising it by 25 basis points for as long as it takes. And it could take, you know, a while. And then he keeps reiterating 2% inflation. We all know that's, you know, it's kind of not going to happen, but you got to talk about the goal. You got to dream a little bit here. So, you know, that's the thing he's talking about there. The main thing where we could come up a little bit higher is you're about to get a green dot here. I believe you're already getting a green dot in ETH. That would bring us, you know, that would bring us just to, you know, stop out the shorts one kind of one last time here, there, 24 7, test the 200 weekly moving, moving average before kind of starting to come back down here. The other thing, too, I mean, you have a weekly um, trend reversal, you know, blue triangle. I mean, obviously, it could go either way. You know, it could be a trend reversal based off of this, and you come up to, you break through, and you're able to come up to 30K here. I don't really think that's going to happen. Um, but, the other case would be the bearish case turn reversal. You come back down to, you know, 17K, you know, that area in the next few months into March and April. So, you know, it looks kind of like before, you know, pandemic right here, pretty big drop down, obviously, you know, blue triangle, maybe you get a green dot after, then you get a red dot after it just comes down. You, know, you get a green dot when you come up a little bit higher, maybe 24 seven, maybe even 25K, that big area, you could be forming you know, already forming. I mean, what looks like a double top pattern here, that's a big possibility. Um, so we do have that. I mean, and the thing too is like for DCAing in, like the main strategies I've been looking at, I mean, three week, once this comes into the red, which this probably is gonna be the time where it finally does for the first time ever. Maybe not, but finally, and when it does come into the red and confirm, that could be in, you know, a few months here, really good DCA opportunity for probably, eh, I mean, it depends. It could be a while. Yeah. I mean, a year or something, you know, eight months or whatever to the next bull, you know, a good preparation for the next bull run. Also what I'm waiting for to happen too, is this, there's a few different things that could happen here. Now, either for the first time ever, we could go kind of deep into the red here on a trajectory downward to like, you know, 12 K or something towards the end of the year. That'd probably bring you a little bit deeper than here. I would guess. Um, yeah, yeah, if it's towards the end of the year, yeah, you could get kind of deep here. That's similar. I just want to show you, let's look at the three week on the, on the NASDAQ, or, oh, I had the three week here. This is the MAR. It's a very similar. The thing I showed you is still accurate. Very, um, similar there, but the three week on the NASDAQ, let's see how that was. 
So, yeah, I believe that was the first time ever. Yeah, first time ever this um, came into the red, and it got kind of, yeah, I mean, it got kind of deep here. You know, it got kind of deep here. So that's the main thing we want to worry about. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but absolutely possible, especially going into a recession, especially if Bitcoin clings on to, clings on to traditional markets. Um, you had Charlie Munger say he thinks they're going to ban, you know, it should follow China and ban Bitcoin. I mean, obviously, you know, it's ridiculous, pretty atrocious thing, <laughs> pretty terrible thing to say, but I mean, it still could <laughs> cause us a little bit of trouble just saying that type of stuff. So other things, I mean, FTX obviously brought us back years in time, as people have said. So those are things to worry about as well. So that's what we have right there. And then the other thing, so the main thing for DCAing in right now, you know, for all the bulls, all the people that, uh, I don't even know what the bulls think. The bulls, <laughs> the bulls are just like, I, I don't know what, I'm not even gonna like, <laughs> like they're gonna jinx it. That's what I think. Like they're, they're gonna jinx it. I think so. We'll see. We'll see. But in terms of this, this would be the main place to DCA. And so you got, you know, in terms of this case, in terms of the red here, you have, let's see another 22 bars. From where we are right now, another 22 bars on the 12 day would bring you out to about October. So good DCA place into October, so now until October. I think it's a great kind of DCA opportunity, especially if you don't really have much Bitcoin, not financial advice, but somebody like me who already has you know a lot, still kind of waiting. I'm skipping February to DCA. I, I did buy 10% of what I'm planning to put in this year last month so i'm waiting for a few months hopefully it'll come down a little bit if it doesn't not the end of the world we'll just look at different places different strategies you know it's always always changing i do think alts you know in terms of bitcoin dominance rising throughout this rally i do think all coins are still going to bleed some of them will outperform bitcoin but that's tough man that's finding a needle in a haystack and we only talk about them we only see them after we they only make it on the radar after they pumped up 200 percent. so i mean at that point I mean, sure, you could you know, mess around for some more pennies here and there, but it's a little tough messing with all right now. But if you do see something good in the charts, then yeah, I mean, by all means, go for it. That's what I'm looking at right there. As I talked about earlier, I mean, I do think there's a decent shot, you know, continuing maybe a little bit higher on these some of these lower time frames into the green in the next week or so, a little more of a jump up, maybe to 25K. You know, there's that decent shot right there. And then we'll test that 200 weekly moving average. It's a good place. Now, what I think, and this is true for a lot of the altcoins too, this would be the case to come up to. You know, split RSI is coming the other way. Little uh, anchor wave, hybrid wave <laughs> right there, green dot right there, bring you up a little bit higher. So that's the other thing we're looking at. I think ultimately, when this money flow comes into the red, that's probably going to be where your rally is ended, most likely. Unless we somehow break through, go up to 30K, like some people think you're most likely coming down <laughs> unless that other case does happen so moving on to the the s p 500 i just want to look at this um just a little bit here and then i'll talk about the dixie because the dixie is important to talk about too right now so s p 500 you got your blue triangle green dot now this is interesting i mean this here after the pandemic this brought you up obviously this brought you up this is all in the bull market you know all places that brought you up and he would ask me, you know, what kind of means bear market? Well, it's kind of like we're still in the bear market, I believe, as long as these EMAs kind of stay gray here, as long as they generally stay gray in the weekly. And I mean, all of them, all these main market separate EMAs. So they're starting one or two, starting to brighten up a little bit, but they're not. It's still kind of like how it was over here. They're still mainly gray. As long as these stay gray, I'd be more inclined to believe the blue triangle green dot is kind of just a bull trap. It's just going to have a red dot after. And if you look at, you know, historically, something like this, 2015, you were in the, you know, you were in the, you're getting choppy, getting into the bright EMAs, but look at that trajectory. That was a 13 percenter, 13 percent down. Probably, would that bring you to a new low here? Let's see. 360, so getting close to that area. So there's that possibility there. And just given, you know, how we've looked to, you know, if we compare... I think it's going to look more like, you know, kind of not 08, 08 was kind of just straight down, but more of like a one. And I think this, you could even see this for Bitcoin too, just a gradual kind of decline, boring decline downward. And in terms of money flow, we're right here. Um, I don't think it's obviously going to take this long to probably bottom out, but it's possible, you know, two years. 
after seeing the really good decade we've seen, that's the big place to look. Now, in terms of the last thing I wanted to show you on here, in terms of monthly, you know, confirmed a green dot, this one is another reason why I think it's more similar to a one. Look at the level, kind of like this green dot over here. You needed two more green dots to really see the bottom. I don't know if it's going to be two more, but I do think it's going to be at least one more. And I do think this is going to roll over and bring us down. And the thing I'm waiting for too, we've been in the green for so long on the green for so long on the monthly getting, you know, I mean, really since 2012, getting into the red would be big. If you get into the red and confirm a green dot, that's a really big place to start to get back in. That could be, you know, that may not be until mid 2024, hopefully earlier, but it could take some time here. It could absolutely take some time, more of a gradual decline down, especially with just Powell just raising the, the you know, small increments, 25 basis points until the job is done. He wants kind of, you know, I don't know if he could do a soft landing, but you could do a gradual, more of a gradual slope lead. That's big too. In terms of a big crash, I mean, you always do see, you know, big drops down in the bear markets. You know, a real big one was obviously September 01, for obvious reasons there, and then July 02. A little hard to predict then when that'll happen. So that's what we're looking at right there. Last thing I wanna show you right now is the DXY. So DXY, green dot on the weekly. What I think, and I'm comparing this to, to um, 2001 a bit, what I think could happen, just like 01, look at this trajectory, um, you know, starting in 99 or whatever coming up, you know, this kind of area. You came up about, or no, excuse me, kind of this type of trajectory, came up about 24, had a drop down, and then he came up another you know, around 30, so approximate numbers there. Here's like faster. So you came up your 20, you know, you're almost your 30, 27%. And then you came down. What's another like 25 to, you know, 25 to 30 would be somewhere between 125 and 130. I think you'll probably top out. When would that happen? Somewhere late 2023 to early to mid kind of 2024. Top out with the Dixie like that. That's kind of the bottom of your bear market right there. Now, if it's like the 1980s, I don't think it will be. The Dixie could keep going up with the S&P 500. That just shows a lot of strength in the U.S. economy. I don't think we're going to see that because it's a different time. This was peak of the American empire. I think it's kind of different now. I don't think we'll really see that, but there is that possibility. So that's what I'm looking at for the market right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the update. Please leave a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, really appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Goodbye.